Okay, this, uh, this example is for a uh, point double link on the elliptic curve, okay? So, this is uh, for 2P1, uh, okay? So, this is what we wanted to get, okay? Used to, uh, <coughs> used to, last time we said that uh, Y square is equal to F of X, and this is equal in the form of X cubed plus B plus a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay? <clears throat> and uh, what we wanted to do today in this uh, clip is to add the point to itself. Okay? So we're going to add the point to itself, which is uh, it's the geometric, uh, reflective geometric. So suppose that we have this curve, right? A classic curve. And we wanted to add this point to itself. So this is point one. So we say, okay, we draw a tangent line of the form y equal alpha x plus b. And then right here, this is the inverse of negative 2p1. And then, um, because this is in the form of the square, so we have the negative part, which is something like this, like that. And this reflection here is uh, 2.1. So this, this coordinates right here are x3 comma negative y3, right? This is this is equal to 2p1. Mm -hmm. So okay. So <clears throat> how we're we gonna start? Okay. So let's say let's go to put a real value. So let's say this cubic curve, it's y squared is equal to x cubed plus 70, which is fine because our discriminant is different than zero, so that's fine. It's differentiable. And let's say that I wanted to add this point, which is P1, it's equal to negative 1, 4. Okay? Let's go to start from there. Okay. <clears throat> so, the first step I wanted to do is just to find, uh, I wanted to find this equation, right? So I wanted to find lambda. Uh, because we proved in the past that the x3 is equal to the slope to the square uh, plus a minus x1 minus x2. For this specific case, x1 is equal to x2. And then y3 was equal to lambda x plus b, right? So in my coordinate here, this is what I wanted to find. This is my, per, this is my, it, this is what I wanted to achieve. So this is what I wanted to do. Okay, cool. So I was in the definition. So the definition says, okay, y squared is equal to f of x. Okay, fair enough. So, if I do implicit differentiation, um, this is this which is the rate of change on um, dy dx, right? Because it's the rate of change of uh, of delta x over delta y, right? That's the slope by definition. So, okay, this is cool. So, I will say then that this is a two y. So, I'm I differentiate implicit this part and this side. This is f prime of x. So then alpha is equal to f prime of x over 2y. Okay? And I know <coughs> this point. So I know this x and I know this y. So then alpha is equal to f of f of prime of negative 1 over 2 times 4. So this is became 8. And f of x, f of x is this one, right? Um, f of x is this, used to recall, if f of x is equal to x cubed plus 17, then f prime of x is equal to 3 times x squared, correct? So this is equal to 3 times f of x of negative 1, that's equal to 3 times negative 1 to the square, so this is 3, so then this is 3, correct? So alpha is equal to 3 over 8, okay? Perfect. So now I know alpha, right? And <coughs> I know this and this is okay. I know what is x, x, x3, right? x3, x3 will be equal to, um, x3 will be equal to 3 to the square over 8 to the square, which is this part, plus 8. 8 is here, and I don't have any 8 terms, so that's 0, plus 0, minus negative 1, which is x1. Right, which is x1, uh, minus uh, x2, but x1 is equal to x2 because it's point to itself, so it's negative 1, 
So x3 became x3 became uh, so x3 will became x3 will be equal to 9 over 64 plus 2. So this is equal to uh, one, uh, 64 times 2, that's 128, 128, 127 over 64. So, here, x3 is equal to 137 over 64. If it's that correct. Now, because I know x3, then, right? So I know that, but if I know, I don't know this value, right? Okay? Which is fine because okay because if I know this point and if I know lambda equal to three over eight and knowing this point and this one I can solve for b correct so so this implies that y is equal to four is equal to uh, three over eight times x which is negative one uh, plus b and that will solve for b. So this is 4 is equal to negative 3 over 8 plus b. So it implies that 4 plus 3, 8 is equal to b. So b is equal to uh, 8 over uh, 35. Yeah, 35, right? Okay, cool. Now, I know why I know, I know this, I know this, I know this. So y3 is equal to lambda, which was 3 over 8, correct? 3 over 8. Now this one was um, x3 is equal to 64. 64. I, I hope that's correct. I hope that's correct. Yeah. Oh. 64. x3 is equal to 64, 137. Right? Uh, plus 35,8. Okay? This is punching the numbers into the, com into the computer calculator, but this is going to be 64 times base, that's 512. Uh, this is uh, y3 is equal to uh, 512, and this is uh, 137 times 3 is uh, whatever, 3 times 137 uh, plus 35a. Uh, whatever it is, this is a number, right? It's a, it's a rational number. So. The important is we know x and we know y cube is equal to these numbers I can punch in the calculator and I know from a fact that that's going to be 1, you're going to need to check this, 2651 over 512 and then the only thing I do the negative part here, 2651 512. So this is my point double and this is this coordinate. Okay, thank you.